TeachAnOldDogNewTricks.com. More than 40 hours of free computer training. Sit, stay, and learn. Thank you. Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and I want to thank you for being here for this tutorial in QuickBooks. In previous tutorials we have created invoices. Now, once you've created an invoice, the next natural thing to happen in a business is someone might actually pay you for the invoice you've sent them. So when they make a payment to you, you've got to take that money or that payment and you've got to deposit it someplace. So the next logical step is to create a bank account. The way you create a bank account in QuickBooks is this. To create or look at accounts that are already there, QuickBooks uses what's called chart of accounts. You'll notice here on the home page, over here on the right, there's a chart of accounts. You can also get to it by going up to company and go down to chart of accounts. Notice the keyboard shortcut is control plus the letter A. You can also go to list and go to chart of accounts. So here's three ways to do the same thing. I'm just going to click on it right here. If I want to create a new bank account, I can come down to the bottom of the page, click on Account, and go New. Once I get in here, I'll be prompted to decide what kind of account I want. I'm going to do a bank account and click Continue. At this point, we're going to give it a name, and I'm just going to call it Bank Account. I'm not going to call it anything. You could call it by the name of your bank or whatever you want to do, but I'm just going to call it bank account. Description, oop, let me go in and fix my spelling. So bank account, just to make it easy. We could put in a bank account number like that. We could put in a routing number. For the tax line, I'm not sure exactly how I would assign this. I think it can depend on how you do things, so I'm going to ignore that for a moment, and I'm going to do the opening balance, and I'm going to say that we put a thousand dollars in the bank account, and I'm going to start it on March 1st, because this tutorial and this training is taking part, or taking place in the middle of March. So next, I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to click on Save and Close. So now we're creating a bank account, so I'm going to click on Save and Close. OK. There are options to set up online services. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to click No. Now I'm just going to come up and click the X on this window to close it. So here we are. We're back at the main screen. And the whole reason we started this tutorial on creating a bank account is because we wanted to be able to receive a payment. And obviously when you receive a payment, you've got to put it in a bank account. Or you should, I should say. So in the next tutorial, we're going to show you how to receive a payment from an outstanding invoice and how to work with that. My name is Tony Hollowitz. Thank you very much.